what's up, Carl? Oh, oh, you know. Same old, same old. You know how it is. Doing our Olympic show today, so we thought we'd have some music playing. It's fitting for uh, just about every potential reason. I have a tear in my eye. For what reason? Because you're very happy or you just... No, because I have a mind-bending headache. There we are. It's our special Olympic edition of A Better Conversation. (laughs) That music's going to stay, by the way. Yeah, that's our new theme song (laughs) for the show. It's fitting. The mediocrity is dripping (laughs) with every word. So... What, Carl, is that a uh, South Korean? Where can they find that, Carl? Uh, that that uh, lovely music that just played. No, Carl. Yes, the lovely. Okay. Music. Yes, all right. Carl. All right. I'm just double checking. All right. You can find that. That was actually on YouTube, and I forget the name of the orchestra that plays it. However, was it like a South Korean high school or something? It's basically what it is, and I'm pretty sure they're an American orchestra, and they switch. They switch instruments to ones that they don't know how to play. Yeah. I'll find it really quickly for y'all. Because it's pretty much gold. Um, stay golden. Oh, stay golden. Stay golden. Oh, thank you very much for that uh, LP in front of the computer screen. Uh, today's uh, album in front of the... Screen Monitor is brought to you by the Rock Bar and Grill in Plessis. Lunch and dinner daily, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., 482-0819. It is uh, Herbie Mann, Memphis Underground, gets the, uh, gets the uh, what, what would it be, Carl? What's the word I'm looking for? Mm, the uh, accolade, the, uh, no, the, the, uh, the, the, the honor. The honor. The, uh, the honor of being the record of the week placed in front of the monitor so Carl doesn't stare at the. The ups and the downs. Very, very much. It tends to get lost in the ups and the, yes. and the downs. Okay, so here we are, Carl. Yes. This is the theme from 2001. Space Odyssey. Space Odyssey. The 1968... Um, who directed that, Carl? Stanley Kubrick. St- Stanley, Stanley Kubrick, Kubrick. Uh, the great British director. He's dead, Carl. He is. Uh, rest in peace. Didn't he... Uh, remember that movie, like... Didn't you bring up uh, artificial intelligence? Did I you? did. I did. Wasn't that originally going to be his? Yeah, he was going to direct that, but he yep. died. Yep. Right? And then Stan and then Stanley. And then uh, Steven Spielberg uh, uh, took it and did his. Th- well, he didn't take it because they were going to collaborate on it. That but, was another uh, Haley Joel Osment. Movie, yes, it was, correct? and he did. I thought he did a good job. Have I you seen him now? He didn't quite make. He didn't. The he didn't quite make. No, no, he didn't quite make the transition. He has into a child's a, face on an adult body. Yeah, yeah. It, it's something that a lot of us uh, seem to suffer from. Um, debating on whether or not I will. Uh, <laughs> I suffer from that right now. No, there's everyone... no debate, Carl. Okay. No. Okay. What's going on, Carl? It's a simple. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for I it. I couldn't. It I couldn't find the name. It's the. Uh, hang on. It's the theme song of the show, Carl. It's the theme song of the show, but the name was not in the source that I got it from. Uh, hang on, I got it. So you're the tech guru. I'm the. <laughs> I'm the, the yeah, simple, the. Uh, the non- uh, funny, say dumb thing guy. Yes, the uh, the tech guru, most definitely. Carl, I'll if you weren't here, none of this would be possible. Carl, tell them what the uh, YouTube channel is. The YouTube you channel, would, yes, scrolling. the ever so the ever uh, prestigious YouTube channel. Uh, it is YouTube.com. You have to search Better Radio eighty eight point five. We do not have a custom URL yet. Uh, however, um, we will get that when we reach a hundred subscribers. So you should go and subscribe to us so we can have uh, YouTube.com slash Better Radio. 88.5. What are, you, <clears throat> what are we up to now, Carl? We are up to, I believe it was eight subscribers the last time I checked. Sweet. Which, Sweet. Uh, yes, ab- absolutely. Absolutely eight. great. So, this is, I don't know anything about it, but I know that we had like 50 people maybe. Wasn't it like 50 look at our first show? I think so, yeah. I think and I, only eight people <gasps> I subscribe. found it. Okay. I found it. 
I, I yeah. okay, that actually yes, that was the one. I didn't think it was it, but it is. It is the Portsmouth Sinfonia Orchestra, and they have played several other songs, including in the Hall of the Mountain King, which uh, their interpretation of is also gold. Is that Maine or Oregon? <laughs> it's Portsmouth. spelled uh, P O R T S M O U T H. Where is it though? Mm. Portsmouth, Portsmouth, Maine, right? Portsmouth Sinfonia. Oh, at the Portsmouth School of Art in. England. That explains it. They are an English orchestra. Okay. Sure. So they are, oh, their wow. Their music is just like their food. Yes, I've heard. <laughs> I haven't heard it's like that. I've bland heard it, and boiled. I've heard bland and boiled, but I don't know if I would use the words bland and boiled to describe what I just heard, though. You're one island over with your red hair, my friend. Yeah, I'm a little bit. Most of your um, food is bland and boiled and starchy. I th- Hey, I happen potato, to Potato, listen, I'm telling you, my friend, the potato saved your... My uh, your my heritage, eth- your ethnic, say ethnic yeah, background, yeah, your whatever back- you want to call it, whatever it saved him it saved from him. starvation. I man. wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the potato. God bless the potato. I mean, look at the French fry, man. It's such <clears> a versatile. <throat> uh, what is it like? A is it a root? Is that isn't a potato considered because it? It's a spud, right? A spud. Spuds McKenzie. Spuds McKenzie. Spuds McKenzie. You don't know who Spuds right. McKenzie. No. <laughs> yet we need a sound for yet one more reference it goes over straight my head. over Carl's head. head oh, right head. over my head. But that's okay because that's kind of what uh the yeah what uh, is a potato? It's got to be a root because it it, uh, it has like little things that come off it. Yeah. We're on the farm. Maybe someone could supply the answer if they're listening. Yeah, if, if you know the answer, <laughs> none of them are listening. I was gonna say, if you know the answer, feel free to run right into or just this yell. room. We're all in the same building. We all are in. What's the same a potato? Building. Is it a root? What a is it? A potato is a starchy, uh, tuberous crop from the perennial night it's a tuber. shade. It is an edible tuber. It's a root vegetable. Root I knew vegetable. it. I knew Thank it you. was a root. A root vegetable that comes straight from the horse. Uh, no, the owner's mouth. Straight from the owner's mouth. Yes. Yes. Very good. Yes. Shout out. Was that Nicole that just wrote here? Just the owner's mouth. It was someone. See now. Oh, see the owner's dropping, mouth. There see, we go. What you do is you just drop names on the air. I no. drop names because Maybe they didn't I. Want their name on I the drop air, names they. because I care. <clears throat> okay. Yes. So potatoes are a root vegetable. It is a root vegetable. They got you through a famine, my friend. They got me through a famine. God bless. Why did I call you my friend three times in the last two minutes? I don't know, but you know, I'm going to drop know, the, we're pretty, my friend. You know, I'm not going to keep saying that. I'm sorry. You know, I, I've been pretty redundant. Uh, I'm pretty redundant on the air as it is. So. And off the air. And off the air. Yes, I'm just a redundant person. <laughs> uh, yes, very much so. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not your friend. Now listen, I thought we were going to. We, now today was supposed to be our, our Olympic show. Where are we even going with this? We're talking about potatoes, Carl. I mean, well, the, the Olympics. I I guarantee you, they're not going to be eating potatoes down in well, Rio. Well, let's get to the Olympics. Let's start off the now. Train wreck. We okay now the <clears throat> it's the 2016 Olympics. It's supposed to start. It's uh, pro- let's, let's, uh, <laughs> as I point to you, let me bring information up on the laptop computer in front of you. I think they start in the eighth. They start on oh, August fifth. Oh, I know it was Olympic moment. I had a tear in my eye because when the end of that song was going on, I remembered Ali. When Ali stood up at the Olympics and he had the torch and he came oh. out. Oh, nice and, and triumphant. everyone teared up. That's how I felt when that song was yes. playing today. Yes, yes, absolutely. It starts on the fifth and it goes through the twenty first. Okay, what's what's today? Today's today what? is the, the first. Second. Second. No, today's no, the first. first. You're right. So it starts, what is that, this Friday? Friday night, probably. That's a big ceremony. That's boring. Nothing really happens, though, right? Yeah, you can just watch somebody sing and all the the uh, flags and whatnot. Now, they're in our time zone, right? Rio, I believe, is in our time zone. So uh, there won't be, like, the goofy, like, you're watching something at 3 o'clock in the morning when it's live and then... You know. Yeah, I don't think so. I, I want to say either Rio's in our time zone or if it's just an hour or two off, I'd say. Now, who is the uh, uh, carrier of the Olympics? Is it NBC, you think? Isn't it usually NBC, like every know. year? They have the contract this year? I'm pretty sure it's NBC. Uh, um, I'm going to be watching on yeah. CBC. NBC Olympics. I have to watch it out of Canada because I don't get – like it's too far to Syracuse. But I can pick up – Ottawa really well. Hey, it's so. not like you're really missing much on NBC. No, and I always root for the Canadians. Yes. Because they're, uh, I like their uniforms, Carl. Yeah, you know, Canadian. Wait, just in general? Just their general? Yeah, usually it's pretty just red. 
I like red. I like Red's red. Right. I like I like maple leaves. The, um, ours tends to like overdo with the flag thing after a while. Woo! You know, enough with the stars and stripes. Patriotic. But America. It's all good. Um, let's see. So it's in our same time zone. Yes. Rio de Janeiro, which is in Brazil. Brazil. Which is having a um, complete and total total meltdown. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is normal for. Is there fecal matter in the rivers, Carl? Oh, I guarantee it. I I see. That's uh, out of the. Out of the things that could possibly uh, be in the rivers, fecal matter, I would say, is near the top of the list. How about a toe or two, you think? Of course. There's a lot of murders in that city. There are a lot of murders. There's uh, a lot of prostitution. Yes. So there's, there's a lot of drugs. Probably a limb or something here and there. Uh, maybe a finger somewhere. Uh, pickpockets. Pickpockets. These people, are, they're going to be in a compound, Carl. Dude, these people are so screwed. I'm so sorry to say, but... Uh, Let's uh, we brought let's, up like their living conditions. Let's let's, uh, let's take a, a good one. Let's take a uh, a gander at one of these tabs because it is one of them. If anyone's listening and would like to follow along at home, um, if you are actually listening at home right now, uh, we are looking on what 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 are we on right now? Carl? All right, well, this is dead spin. I've never been on dead spin before, but this was the top result that came up with if you Google the athlete's village being uninhabitable. So I will trust this website for now. So uh, go ahead, Carl. What's the, he- the he- all right, headline? The headline: is- Rio Olympics <laughs> athletes' village declared <laughs> uninhabitable. <laughs> I, I don't know. This it's week's news. It's old school. Yeah, now. this it's okay. This week's scheduled move-in for the Olympic athletes' village in Brazil felt flat as the Australian delegation refused to enter the facilities due to. Uh, serious issues with plumbing and fire safety. That's according to the Sydney Morning nice. Herald, which cites the AOC, claiming the Australian athletes arrived today uh, intending to check into their rooms only to find them uninhabitable. Uh, the Herald claims the Great Britain and New Zealand delegations found themselves in the same spot upon arrival this weekend. Uh, nice. Let's see. And this is what they found. They found water flowing down the walls <laughs> upon attempting to flush toilets, uh, a strong smell of gas, and exposed wiring. Uh-huh. So a great, you know, a great combination. Um, you know, like three days ago, they're just like throwing paint they're over They're just stuff. throwing it together. <laughs> they're, they, they, stuff's just getting winged up there, fake walls. Like just a part, you know, a fake wall in front of like paper mache, crazy wiring, and like a gigantic wall of wiring or something. Yeah, of course. Uh, I yeah, yeah. That, you know that you know that's what it is. Yeah. You absolutely know that's what it is. I'm not surprised at all. Um, yeah, I don't. Let's actually, I think it has a statement from the oh the mayor responded as well i totally forgot about this the rio according to uh, wire davies on twitter uh, yeah. the rio mayor responded to team australia's criticism of athletes village by offering to put a kangaroo there to make them feel at home that's nice of them that's very nice of them yeah well okay well let's think about this different countries okay you give australia a kangaroo okay um portugal well no it's next door it's just uh, let's pick a country, Carl. Uh, just a random country? Japan. Japan, yes. What would you give Japan? Like, say the Japanese team complained about the fecal matter running <laughs> they'd down give the walls. Them, they'd give them sushi or something. Yeah, something placated with something really... Stereotypical yes, about exactly. Japan. Um, I like how you fill in the blanks of the... It's always the nouns that get hung up on, generally. Wait, what did I... F- wait. You fill in the blanks in a good way, because I get hung up on the nouns occasionally. Oh, okay. All right. You, know, you, you know, supply the... The, fill in the blank. You fill in Most the blank. Of the time. Yes, so. it's my great job. I think I do a great job. Well, and they'd, they'd give us. They'd probably give us. Uh, what? What would they give us? Do you think if we were to complain? Like probably hamburgers. Ham- <laughs> hamburgers or like those new. Uh, uh, those new. Uh, a cop buddy movie. A cop buddy movie. I know but a lot of them grew up on like eighties cop. Like okay, so they'd probably give us Lethal Weapon or Part uh, Four, the one with Chris. Uh, oh yes, it. not not the original, not any of the first, not like two or three. No, you got to give us the. the There's a regret. One. Here's a little re- regret of my life. I was in Las Vegas and I had a chance to go down and be an extra in the movie with some other guys, and, and you didn't, I didn't take it. it. No. But I did get Ooh. to see the. Remember, I told that woman, I told somebody that I saw the, uh, they imploded that building. In Vegas. Oh yeah, you did mention that. I think I it was said it you said it somewhere on here, I believe. In passing, in passing in conversation passing. on a previous better conversation here on eighty eight point five LP LPFM W B T S located better here in Redwood, it. New York. Uh yeah. Yes, this is going yes. out worldwide, Carl. Worldwide. I wonder if anyone besides our little local people 
local local like circle of people have listened to this show. I saw on the YouTube channel when you go to your analytics and and such, and you can see where people view your videos from. Uh, I saw a tiny little speck over in Italy. Sweet. A speck. So shout out to the one person in Italy who yes. watched one of our better conversations. Yes. You are awesome. The Salamia. And we've lost them. Let- <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I don't know any Italian. That's all I, I don't either. We could. We well. We cherished them while we had them. So we have an Italian fan. Yes. <laughs> yes. If you will. Yes. What? Would, what do you think? They'd probably. Uh, Rio would offer them a plate of spaghetti. Um, yes. Or a pizza. Or no, not even a pizza. This is, to, this is to placate the fecal matter running down our walls in our hotel. Yes. Yes. But Thank listen, you. look, we did supply you with these plastic bags that you can collect it with, and then someone will be buying to pick yeah, it up. Yeah, like morning. listen, like listen, I'm not gonna. I, I see water running down. I hear about the sewage and stuff. I don't know if I trust food prepared by you. I don't know if you're gonna what you're gonna put in it. I don't know what conditions it's been exposed they, to. Uh, I know that the kayakers have issues with like fecal matter in the water where they're going to be kayaking in yes. rivers. Yes. And also, as we mentioned earlier, the swim team is in quite the uh we'll well, all of the it. swim team, huh? We didn't mention it earlier. We did Oh, no, we uh, before the show. Oh yeah. Our their uh before chances the of their before the show, the uh, realm before the show that <laughs> no one else knows about. Ooh, I bet you guys are so curious as to what possibly goes on before the show. Uh, do tell, Carl. Do tell. Uh, well, we were... Uh, it's called show prep. Show prep. We actually did a little bit of show prep this A time. little bit. <laughs> Instead of just coming on and being like, well, we kind of wanted to talk about this now. We Let's did go it. back to the potato, Carl. The potato. It's a root, and it's every, a root, it is uh, a root vegetable. vegetable. And, uh, it's very good and starchy, and it's very versatile. But so the swimmers are getting... The swimmers. They're afraid now. How much... Let's, let's go to the... Uh, the uh, site there it talks about the um yeah there you had it there I think violent it was, illness I think it was you, you had it oh violent oh you wanted the violent illness yeah, I wanted, one like the swimmers with the violent illness for the water like having okay I don't know if this was specifically I don't know maybe I don't know if this was specifically. oh no no read what that says Carl and okay this and, this might not be the one but I'll find and it. who are um, we uh, quoting here okay from, so Carl. this is whoops uh this is uh what is this Russia Today is that what R- that's what RT is right I think so. Uh, Okay. Russia to, but it's a very reputable news organization. Um, Olympi- uh, athletes and tourists at Rio Olympics risk violent illness from sewage-filled waters. Mm. Uh, athletes at the Rio Olympics are aiming to take home the gold, but they could also be taking home a number of viruses and bacteria, according to a new study. It found that city waterways are teeming with raw sewage and carry a huge risk of disease. Uh <laughs> How These, come all the people aren't dead that live I don't there? know, because they're used to it already. Their bodies have totally adapted to it. I don't know. What if they came here? What would they get? Well, uh, I don't Fat. know. Fat. Fat. Uh, the 16-month study commissioned by Associated Press found that the infectious adenovirus readings turned up at nearly 90% of test Ooh. sites over the course of What's research. What's the virus called again? Uh, adenovirus? Adenovirus. A-D-E-N-O virus. Adeno. A Dino virus. And I had th- the one that was equally as hilarious uh, was. Um, <laughs> that one's a good one. We'll <laughs> okay. We will come back to we'll this one. We'll come back to that one. We'll fun. come back to that one. I will find. Um, uh, that Jeb one. Bush are- advisor leaves GOP. Yes. Yes, they did. Uh, I gotta fi- I'm sorry. I got to find that one article because it was really good about uh, the. Uh, the, uh, talk amongst yourselves possi- while yes, Carl talk looks about up this cells While I find out this news this article. This pause in the show is brought to you in part by the Apollo <laughs> Restaurant Hold on, Carl. i got to get into the position here. I have to pinch my nose. <clears throat> You're right. And do my, <clears throat> my, hold on. The following program was brought to you in part by the Apollo Restaurant in Watertown. It's fine dining at the Apollo the best gyros north of exit 46 in Watertown. 
I found it. <laughs> that was perfect. That was perfect. Okay, what's this say, Carl? Okay, this article. I mean, I hope this there is not a video attached to this. We will mute this so you guys don't have to hear this now. Uh, the okay, real uh, 2016. These swimmers need to only ingest three teaspoons of water mm. to be almost certain of contracting a virus. Uh, a report commissioned by the Associated Press again has revealed that the water in Rio's Olympic and Paralympic uh, venues hold viral levels 1.7 million times of what would be considered alarming <laughs> in the United States and Europe Sweet. just five days before the games get underway. So this is, you can't even take a shower. No. Because you know you're going to get a little, you're I gonna mean, get uh, sick. obviously something's going to go in your mouth. You're going to get on. sick. Not only are some 1,400 athletes at risk of getting violently ill in water competitions, but Associated Press indicate that tests indicate that during tourists... During the competition? During the competition. <laughs> just just uh, total breakdown of all <laughs> orifices in your body yes. are just expelling. Yes. They also indicate that tourists also face seri- potentially serious health risks on the golden beaches of uh, Ipanema and... Uh, nice. Copa, I don't know how to print. Oh, Copa, Copa, oh, Copa, Copa, Copa Cabana? Cabana. Copa Cabana, yeah. Uh, it also, the survey of the aquatic Olympic and Paralympic venues has revealed consistent and dangerously high levels of viruses from uh, the pollution, a major black eye on the Rio Olympics project that has sent off alarm bells what, you say, among Carl? sailors. Uh, where? Um, <clears throat> that's, that's incredible. So how are they going to do anything? I don't know. I'll how do you shout? They're going to have Olympians in their hotel rooms with bottles of water standing in their tub, just washing their hair, washing their vital areas, and just carrying on. That's how they're going to have to hang on for two weeks. I guess so. That is a long time. If this was only going on for a few days, maybe you'd be able to bear it, but for two weeks, like... Wait, that's more than... I feel like, is that more than two weeks? It's a little over two weeks, right? Because it starts on the 5th and it ends on the 21st. I'd be, I'd be on the plane, washing in the, in the sink real quick. Yeah. I'd be like I'd, your last clean I'd be like, yeah, before I'd, we landed. I'd be like, yeah, I really love this sport, but I don't know if it's worth dying over. Uh, I'd have the blue water. I'd be using everything on the plane. Just to, my last disinfection before we get... I'll put a little ah. of my shoes. There, the feet are good. I can carry on for the, at least the next four days. Yes. Yes, you can. Um, I don't know why I said anything. Yeah, it. whatever. It's whatever. Uh, it's also, nothing. reports yes. of uh, the what was it? The Olympic uh, and so many tabs open. My God, Your tabulations. Are, tabulation. Uh, out oh, of this world, yes. Bro. Out of this world. Uh, the Olympic sailing ramp also <laughs> collapses as Athletes Village chief is fired over unsafe conditions in hotel fire. Oh, this is going to be sweet. Oh, my God. When's the start, Carl? Far, uh, Friday night? A uh, uh, Friday night. What are they going to do? What's the opening <laughs> ceremony? They're going to uh, inoculate 400,000 people like in, in an arena or something, Carl? Yes. Oh Everybody God. that goes to these Olympics is going to get sick. What does this say? Mario. One uh, mosquito, you're done. One mosquito, yeah, you're done. And, uh, you know, it's sad because a lot of these Olympians are afraid that what if some woman doesn't know she's pregnant or something? Now she's going to go down go down there and now she has to risk getting that, what's that? Oh, Zika, Zika, Zika virus. Zika yeah, I mean, virus. That's it, a concern too. But then when you have a baby, you know. Yeah, that's, then that, that major that's, problem. yeah. It, Absolutely. I don't know. I'm I'm curious to see what the rest of this says because this headline is amazing. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mario. Okay, this is the uh, sailing ramp collapse. Uh, Mario uh, Salenti <laughs> is reported to have been sacked for overseeing the construction of the sacked. Olympics Athletes but Village. In real, that weather. really means they throw him in the sack. They threw him, him in the bridge. sack. Threw him off a bridge. He did. <laughs> he did. Health and safety fears over the Rio 2016 Olympic venues have increased. Uh, after the main ramp of the sailing port collapsed on Sunday, five days before the opening ceremony raises the curtain to the highly controversial games, the structure collapsed after being impacted by high tides and stormy seas, according to Rio 2016 spokesman Philip Wilkinson. And although no one was injured in the incident, it raises further questions over the state of the venues in Rio de Janeiro. Um, it's a it's a catastrophe. It's a catastrophe, and then you know the, another another Associated Press report uh, citing concerns over contamination. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, images revealed that the main ramp of the sailing venue has collapsed and fallen into the water, but an International Olympic Committee spokesman claimed that the incident was not a big deal. He said, <laughs> said "Wow, well, we just left it because nobody wants to." <laughs> yep. It. it would quote. It would be wrong to make a great deal of the incident, says 
the International Olympic Committee spokesman Mark Adams yeah, in the run up. Yeah, in the run up to the game, things happen. Sure, that's a great attitude Bridges to have about collapse. this whole. Uh, ninety percent. Uh, three ta- three three teaspoons of water for one virus. And uh, this is what's nice too. Now we have all these from around the world, all going to this one place filled now, with disease, and then taking it all it. back home with them. And now we planes, can spread it. There's there's mosquitoes at the airport that are inside this airplane, and they're going to be inside when they land, and then they're going to open up the cargo bays, and it's foo, and they're they going to fly out. out. They out. Now, maybe not below below where it gets really cold. But if they're up in the uh, cabin at all, they'll be there. There we go. Worldwide, we're dead. They'll be there. Thank you. If there's some kind of weird pandemic uh, that takes place after this game. Not much weirder than this, Carl. I think the next thing to happen is uh, Walking Dead. That's what's going to happen. The Walking Dead, yes. For real. Um, The real Walking Dead, not the show. Uh, It'll actually happen because of the uh, 2016 Rio Olympic Summer Games. Now, they also have rampant... um, Theft and crime down there. Yes. Pickpockets. Pickpockets. Uh, Everywhere. Murder. Uh, yeah. Where was that? Uh, let's check out the uh, laptop. The laptop article. <laughs> now let's go and find it again, shall we? Uh, it'll be here somewhere. Okay, here we go. Carl's in the tab zone. I'm in the tab zone. I'm also in the Reddit zone because Reddit is a great place. Uh, let me just wait You for have to it. read this in your Australian accent. Crikey. Yes. Oh, go, yes. You have to, Carl. Go. The Rio Olympics 2016 <laughs> laptop. No, uh, no, you're losing it. Keep going. Uh, on, shirts it stolen as Australia. No, uh, athletes are evacuated. Uh, Not bad. Keep going. I'm still oh, now try northeastern hockey. Australian. It's it's well, a very similar. It's a dialect. very similar dialect. <laughs> but they extend their ease uh, a little more. Australian Olympic boss. Uh, What's Kitty? potato in Australian, Carl? Uh, 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 I don't think they have them there, do they? They have to. They're kind of like nah, tropical. They got to. They They're got mostly to. desert though, but. They gotta have potatoes over there. I refuse to believe. Well, they don't have to have potatoes. If they, I mean, if they don't, they probably have potatoes. If they, they better, they uh, either that or they gotta import them because <laughs> life without potatoes is not a life I am willing to live. It doesn't seem like it's the type of climate that would um, Support behoove one to grow uh, potatoes, grow such product, such as the you never root know. vegetable as the potato we learned today. <laughs> You learn something new every day. So the Rio Olympics, Carl, 2016. 2016. Uh, let's see. The Australian Olympic boss, Kitty Chiller, has cr- uh, crossed paths with brazen Brazilian thieves who Kitty stole... Kitty Chiller? Katie, or Kitty Chiller. Kitty Chiller? Kitty That's Chiller. I love that name. Uh, with brazen Brazilian thieves nice name, who... Kitty. Yes. You who go, stole... Girl. You go, Kitty. Uh, who stole Zika protective shirts... Uh, during a fire, <laughs> during a fire Just evacuation, the fact that they have to have it makes me laugh. Come during on. a fire evacuation, oh, when a lap, awful. when a laptop was also stolen, other <laughs> other computer equipment of the Australian team. I'm so sorry, Australia. I I'm, I feel so bad. Uh, uh, you're getting everything that's happening to you. Uh, was also rifled really, through. Was not mine? You know, of course, not really that. Word through uh, on Friday in the athletes' village, when a fire in the basement of the Australian building forced the team members to evacuate <laughs> their rooms. <laughs> Uh, about 100 team members were evacuated for about 30 minutes uh, during the fire when the thefts happened. Three or four Australian shirts uh, designed to protect the athletes from Zika virus were stolen, and Chiller saw the thieves. Uh, the Australian chef demission, I feel like that's got to be uh, pronounced differently, but I'm not going to, uh, initially thought they were firefighters who may have been given team shirts by <laughs> Australians as thanks for helping them evacuate. <laughs> I saw three firefighters walking out with our team shirts. I don't know who they were. I don't know if they were volunteers because they had been given a shirt. or that, I didn't know if they were volunteers that had been given a shirt because they had helped us at that point point in time it doesn't seem to have been what happened Uh, a cycling official had a laptop stolen from the fifth floor during the evacuation but chiller was uncertain if it contained any sensitive team information uh okay nothing sensitive team sensitive team information said the theft within the village was inevitable yes uh when you (laughs) have inevitable inevitable (laughs) when you have fifteen thousand beds there's a lot of people walking around the village she said Uh, I'm not accusing anybody, but there's a lot of non-accredited. If yeah. you like, uh, 
Kitty's workers, right. workers, cleaners, housekeepers, maintenance workers still walking around. Sure, blame them. Yes, uh, and unfortunately, in an area with, in an area that size with the number of buildings and number of rooms there are, unfortunately, theft is going to be inevitable. Uh, uh, inevitable. Oh, yes. That's a fun word to say. Inevitable. inevitable. Also, you listen. Kind of rolled out like stared. Inevitable. Inevitable. Then you land inevitable. inevitable. Kind of like me, just. At the yeah, a little bit. At you the know. Bottom. Go ahead. This no. This is this is also a kicker. Uh, let's. The thefts are another headache for the Australian hier- hierarchy, mm-hmm. who suspect the fire was caused by a cigarette tossed by a local worker into piles of rubbish in the basement. Yet again. Yet blame the lowly worker. Yet again. On your foils. Yeah, so we don't have to read the rest of this, but you get the idea. Uh, it's a mess. It's total disaster, Carl. It's, it's Disaster, I think, is an understatement. I'm wondering what's going to happen once the games actually get started, when oh, everybody is there and people are just going to be moving and activity is going to be high and, uh, yeah. Do you, are, do you plan on watching? Oh, of course. I will definitely watch. Uh, it's, yeah. I, it, I'm. There's no way I'm not watching this. This is going to be the best television since <laughs> Breaking Bad ended, probably. You're setting the bar pretty high. Carl. I'm setting the bar very high. Okay. I heard that that show was really well uh, received. It was incredible. Everyone. It was incredible. I've never actually watched an episode, but I hope you get on to doing that because I'll try. Carl. It's it's incredible. But yeah, we're setting the bar high. This will be great television. Um, except it's all real and not scripted this time. Yeah, it's yes. gonna be exciting. Now there's a doping scandal too. We'll there get is back. a doping let's, scandal. Let's get back to. I want to uh, take one quick. I gotta get some more water. Can use so water. hit him with our uh, theme song again. Yes, It'll we give you will. Time to uh, sing a song of sixpence here, and I'll be right back. Carl. Sing a song. All right, we will be right back. Enjoy the Portsmouth Symphonia Orchestra. 88.5 LPFM, we are back for a better conversation. That I was hope, Mr. Herb Alpert. I hope you enjoyed and the, the Tijuana Brass with Spanish Flea, Carl. As you've heard several, several, several times before. Yes. Many, many times. I'm a big uh, proponent of the Herb Alpert. Big. Are there any people against the usage of Herb Alpert? I don't know. Herb I'm going to do a whole hour of Herb Alpert one of these nights. Please do. And He's- just let everyone know that now on Tuesdays... Yes. Tuesdays are our, our, yes, let me uh, start over. Tuesdays are going to be our country days. Yes, they will. And uh, Tim's going to be on from 4 to 6. From 4 to 5, he's going to be playing bluegrass, uh, 5 to 6 country, classic country. And then I'll be picking up classic country from 6 to 9. So. And speaking of an hour, this show will go until 6, so this will be an hour long. Probably our shortest one yet, but that's okay because it's a great one so far. Uh, Let them judge, Carl. It's okay, I'll yet. let you judge. Yeah. It will be going until 6. It will be our shortest one. That is all. <laughs> we'll let you be the judge okay. of the rest. Back to the, uh, what were we talking about? The Olympics. Oh, the uh, lovely, lovely, uh, well-organized Rio Olympics. Yeah. There was also a, a doping scandal with Russia that was p- very controversial and resulted uh, with them briefly being banned. Uh, I believe that ban has now been lifted, but we now have a story in front of us about uh, this uh, about this ban. They might have the weightlifting ban still might be on. This is from an hour ago on BBC uh, Rio Olympics 2016. Russia is uh, Russia to appeal against the weightlifting ban. Um, the Russian Weightlifting Federation will appeal against the ban imposed on its team for the Rio Olympics. Individual sport federations must rule on whether Russians can compete in Rio following the country's doping scandal. Hmm. Uh, the International Weightlifting Federation excluded the eight Russians entered for Rio last week after a report to state-sponsored doping. Uh, it will go on the Court of Arbitration for Sport before the Games, which start on August 5th. Uh, two of the eight strong weightlifting team had already been banned for prior doping violations, and another four were named in Dr. Richard McLaren's report into the issue. Hmm. The World Anti-Doping Agency has recommended that all Russian athletes be excluded from Rio 2016, but weightlifting and athletics are the only sports to have imposed a blanket ban on competitors from the country. Okay, wow. so maybe this... this Originally, I think I read that it was a widespread ban that, re, that uh, Russia was just straight out banned from competing. I could be wrong. But now it just sounds like it's more centered on weightlifting. Interesting. Uh, yeah. 
it's uh, nothing new. Nope. Back in the seventies, uh, bring up uh, uh, mm. East German um, women's athletes in the nineteen seventies. There was a big scandal. Nineteen seventy six. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's it. Uh, the nineteen seventy six. Oh, doping's darkest hour. Yes. Yeah, bring uh, that up real quick. All right. Let's hear about this. This is very. Uh, I watched a documentary on this one day. It's. Uh, Pretty interesting. Yes, yes, sir. This is coming from Swimming World magazine. Mm. Uh, Doping's Darkest Hour, the East Germans in the 1976 Montreal Games. Uh, The second day of our landmark five days... Okay, I don't need to read that. Um, While East East Germany's wrecking ball of a women's team dominated for more than a decade through the 1970s and into the 80s, the most devastating single event during which the East Germans defrauded the athletic process proved to be the 1976 Olympic Games. Not only were there cries from critics about East Germans' masculinity, but these cries were also turned into attacks on the victims, calling them sore losers. Uh, let's see. One of the most vilified of the victims proved to be Shirley uh, Babishoff, who went on to be tagged with the moniker Sh- uh, Surly Shirley due to her loud complaints. Learning her lesson, the Babishoff fell silent about the East Germans for three decades until 2007. All right. Yeah, um, yeah they were this. I mean, these German government were making these girls take these like testosterone and stuff, and they were changing their bodies. Mm-hmm. And the women, they couldn't do anything about it. Nope. Nope. It's and awful. no one, yeah, no one, I, I, as you heard, when they did, then they're just called, yeah, sore losers, uh, you know, just trying to. It wasn't their fault. It was not their fault. But it's all happening again. Yes. Do you think so you don't think that the uh that these athletes uh are doing it for their benefit, they're just doing it because they're being told to? Well, I don't know. Because I don't know either. It's That's the same tough. thing with all steroids. I mean you have I mean everything is a supplement. A cup of coffee is a supplement. Yes. So where do you stop? You know, and Very true. um I don't know. I mean, there. I guess because there's betting involved, you know, it's just like maybe that has a lot to do with um, why it shouldn't be in there. I mean, steroids or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, or even the growth, human growth hormones and all that. Too. Oh, yeah. But Very there's true. money at stake, though. I mean, people bet on these games. So if you have disadvantages, they're not going to they're going to try to take care of those or take either take care of those or just. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. I don't, I'm just, just reading all of this stuff just makes me think about what goes on behind the scenes of the Olympic Games and what is involved with money. I think much a money, lot of money that's um, changing hands and going places that nobody knows. And from what I know is this, all of this money should not be, should not be exchanging hands. And guess what? The athletes get none of it. No, no. It's, it's just not a the, drop no. because they're amateurs. Yes. And people just make, just like college sports, they're just making billions and billions of dollars off of these college kids in the college. I mean, yeah, they're getting scholarships, but still, I mean, the money they are generating, and on top of that, the tuitions are still astronomically oh, high, course. but the college is raking in millions of dollars. Do you think these athletes should be paid? No, I think they should lower the tuition. I agree. But take the money... And give it back to the educational system. That's what I think should happen. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. money. Yeah, yeah. The it's obviously, all money, Carl. I was like, from what I can tell, this entire thing is just one person's. Uh, one person put, or a bunch of people put in all the work. But yeah, again, none of they don't ever see the fruits of their labor aside from. Uh, uh, well, the most important thing, obviously, is uh, how they. Uh, how or is that they do it for themselves and that they feel great about their achievements, but sure. monetary wise, no, they're not seeing anything. So, uh, it's very tragic. I don't. I'm not sure if if uh, do you think that this is a issue here as well with our athletes? You mean with steroids? Oh, I was yeah, just yeah. talking. Oh, well, oh, oh, both that and. Uh, that somebody over here is seeing a bunch of money come into their hands oh, without... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the athletes, like... Um, a lot of these athletes have to go out and do like book signings and, and, and promotions and just 
go to whatever, you know, be out in public and just they have to kind of push their own brand in order to make a living. Yep. And uh, I don't know. They don't, but you don't have to do it. Nobody's telling you to, to do this. No so, you, you know, I it. mean, like anything, you know, the uh, the stakes, whatever. When you mm-hmm. Go in. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this real thing is just going to be a complete meltdown. It's a mess. It's a mess. Um, I don't know. I'm praying there isn't any. I'm praying that there isn't any. Uh, Did you really like? I, I didn't really. Are you literally praying. Literally play, praying right now. Well, as I, we I mean, speak. I know your your pagan. We uh, my before. pagan beliefs, of course. We talked about it. Do you yeah, like pag- incense? I love incense. Do you? They're great. Uh, I use them during my prayers. Uh, but I am seriously worried that there will be some. Uh, tragedy to come from this somewhere along the line. Um, you think terrorism? Maybe too? I don't know. I, like, cause I, I, like, it doesn't even necessarily have to be that, but just because of how you know Rio is can be a you know dangerous place. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if anyone could try something like that one. I always forget what Olympics it was at, but there was that one um, Olympics where there was the hostage situation Munich. that took place. Munich. Oh, Munich. Yes, it I was don't. Seventy two. Um, yeah. Some somewhere in the seventies, I think. Uh, I'm hoping that we don't see anything like that. I don't remember well, what course. the motives were, but well, they were. That was Israeli. Um, oh right, the, Arab yeah, true conflict stuff. Yeah. Well, let's hope nothing ha- ha- nothing uh, comes to uh, fruition. Fruition here. Uh, yeah, worries me. What can I say? What can I say? Because I, I I hope I'm just hoping that all of this leading up to it isn't some kind of huge omen that this just should not be taking place or that something or, bad is going to happen or just like I thought bad things were going to happen when they had him in Russia. Oh the yes, last, first for, uh, so Sochi. Sochi, yeah, for the Winter Olympics, but nothing happened. But I think Russia is a whole. The only problem with Rio is just it's like the Wild West down there. So you got people coming and going all over the place. Who knows who's who in the crowd? Nope. Probably a million and one people have backpacks. I mean, Very true. what are you going to do? I'm sure they have, where the Olympians are, I'm sure it's really cordoned off. Yeah, I'd say so. Pretty heavy, but. Still, like, you never, I, I don't ever, I try not to underestimate people. Uh, well, I can't. You just cannot. I don't know. But. When you're praying, pray for peace, Carl. Pray for peace. Yes, definitely. Say pray for prayer peace. for peace. Say a prayer for peace. I'm just uh, getting that. Uh, uh, what is it? What am I thinking of? Feeling. Is it it's like some a, kind of feeling? And it's like some kind of like. Uh, it's like are you having a heart attack, Carl. Maybe you might want to call the police. Um, Why? not the police, the ambulance. I mean, but, yeah, Unless well, someone poisoned me earlier, then feel free to call the police. Well, but, I wouldn't uh, drink the rest of that water, Carl. You know, I'm not going to. I appreciate the uh, the uh, looking out, unless you were the one that did it. You ever eat Mod Podge, Carl? I, I no, <laughs> I don't even know. You ever eat paste when you were in kindergarten, Carl? Paste, like, paste. Oh, paste, like, like like kindergarten paste, like the bucket of paste that they just no just sticks. You didn't eat it, Carl. No, <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Uh, never mind, Carl. Let's uh, let's go back to the Olympics. Oh. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a mess. So, uh, bon voyage. Would yes. you take a boat there? A boat? I don't know. I don't feel like uh, getting getting covered in feces or whatever it, else. Now, is that the the um, Amazon that is that where the Amazon comes out there? Yeah. Can we is look it, it up on the, the internet? Carl. Yeah, in the interwebs, the ever uh, useful interwebs for getting a lot of our information. Carl, back in the nineties, they come. There was the net. The net. There are still dot net go websites, surf the of course. Net. At the oh, no, not Amazon. I want the Amazon River. Thank you so much. I love Amazon. Yeah, see but... how? When did the Amazon River get taken over by Amazon dot com and the search engine? You I don't know, man. The, now this river's been around for millions of years, correct? Of course. How long has Amazon.com been around for? Uh, what, the 90s, I think? Yeah. See? This is all some kind of huge conspiracy <clears throat> corporate <throat> takeover. I don't know. What, what, what is the mouth of the Amazon? Mm. Or well, the Amazon Basin? The Amazon Basin. All right. The Okay, the course, the origins. 
What did you uh, say, Carl? Not the origins. Oh, uh, okay. That's what I thought you didn't said. didn't mean that. Mouth of Amazon. Let's find that out. What are those? What's the picture of those people down there, Carl? Uh, Mund- Amazonians? You know Wonder Mundu Woman Raku? lives down there somewhere. Now, does it have oh. Wonder Woman's house on there? I hope so. Does she live in the Amazon? Yeah, she. Remember, yeah, she's from the Amazon. Why I don't is she see white, any, girl? I don't know. I think the new Wonder Woman is uh, Hispanic, though. Or oh, maybe. the actress, or yeah. Oh I, no, she's from uh, Israel. Really? Yeah. Why don't they have a uh, Portuguese actress playing Wonder Woman? Why is it always a white woman? Because that would just be too. Uh, that would make too much sense. I don't know, Carl. Now, what's the, wait? Let's we'll get back to that in a minute. Okay. But what's the like? What, do you know the Wonder Woman story? Barely. I haven't really watched. I mean, aside from, uh, I watched Justice League when I was younger, but I haven't read any of the, any of those comics or whatever. So not really. All I know is that she's from the Amazon and she's got the uh, uh, lasso of truth. Uh. Is that what yeah, I don't know. Is she wrapping around guys? Like, she makes them talk? To. Yeah, she has to. Yeah, see, um, I don't know that much about Wonder Woman. I really why isn't she Portuguese, though? I'm not... She has black hair, but why isn't she... Por- why is she always white? I don't know. Well, well, I think... Now, when did she come about? Like, in the 50s? Yeah, she had to have come... Well, Superman came about in, what, the 30s or so? Okay. So she had to have, yeah, probably 30s to the 50s, somewhere in there. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Well, I, I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that... Uh, it was a different people, time. Yeah, people weren't then. as concerned know. with making them, I guess, accurate, or as accurate to, like, their areas. Because there that were they're white guys or... drawing them, Carl. In Very true. Hollywood, so they just yeah. drew them uh, as yeah. a white woman. Yeah, I mean, gr- I mean, obviously, great comics and everything you had to have a great comics industry, but back in the day, we weren't really as concerned with that. And now we're getting to the point where we hear that Iron Man's successor or something will be a black teenage girl. Change it up, so. flip it over. Hey, man, no problems with that. I'm glad. Rock on. It's, it's so many. So they're gonna keep going with that stuff too. Then Iron Man, Iron Man. Yeah, Iron Man. I think so. Um, I don't. I haven't heard much about the new one, but. What yeah. about whatever happened to Rocket Man? Remember him? Um, is he DC? I don't know, but I know like in the late late eighties or really early nineties, there was a movie called Rocket Man. Rocket Man. And I don't know. Can we look up Rocket Man? We'll we get back to the Atlantic Ocean later. Yes, we will. <laughs> I'm gonna say that <clears throat> my uh educational guess is that the Amazon has many many outlets into that ocean. I don't think just one. Yeah, there's got it. Yeah, I don't think so. And I think Rio de Janeiro is probably one. 1997, or yeah. unless this is a remake. Uh, 97. Yeah, I guess you're nah, right. Who is in it? Let's see. It's a forgettable. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say this looks about uh, as that's good. That's not it. No, 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 that's not even the right one, Carl. Okay. Try a different one. Rocket Man. Uh... I think it was the Lucas Lucas deal. I'm all, I'm only seeing 97. Uh, no, there's another movie. Mm. There's another rock. I'm telling you. I'm just seeing ni- Rocket Man is a 1997 comic science fiction film. Maybe this is a The Rocketeer. Oh, Rocketeer. That's right. it. The Rocketeer. Not Rocket Man, not that. That's I don't know what that is. <laughs> the Rocketeer. Yes, 1991. There we go. Whatever happened to the Rocketeer, Carl? Let's Ooh. read about this. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like the poster. It's a style. great poster. It's like a yeah, Art Deco type of It's almost of like the Great Space Coaster. Yes. I Yet another be... reference gone over Carl's head. Yet I act head, like I understand head, them if I can. Head. Uh, head, head. Uh, set in 1938, it tells the story of stunt pilot Cliff Seckard. Who that's dis- why the movie was a flop, Carl. Cliff Seckard, who discovers a rocket-powered what? jetpack that enables him to fly without an aircraft. Mm. Oh, his heroic deeds soon attract the attention of Howard Hughes and the FBI who are hunting for the missing jetpack, as well as sadistic Nazi operatives. I think... Did Lucas have something to do with this? Boy, what a horrible hero name, though. 
Clint Snodgrass. What's his name? <laughs> Snodgrass. <laughs> uh, Cliff Secord. 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 Yeah, um, I'm not seeing anything about Lucas, though. It, it's a Disney movie. Disney. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I thought, or maybe ILM did the special. Effects. Oh wait, yeah, ILM did do the special okay, effects. That's uh, like yes, it. you are right. It's neat to see those mid '90s. Like, we watched um, Star Trek: First Contact the other day on VHS. VHS. Cassette. Look that uh, up if you don't cassette. know. And it's neat to see the mid '90s. Like they're they like almost had it, you know. Like the special effects. I think that came out in '96. And I told my kid, I said, you know, this is only three years before Phantom Menace, and they had they had this down pretty good then. But it's a weird transition in the '90s, and and there's like a weird. A lot of the sci-fi movies then are like dark, and like green. And like dark brown, there's like a lot of dark colors and steel and darkness. It's just a weird set, you know what I mean? Like the tone of the movies and how yeah, it's the a set kind piece. of kind of dirty and yeah, bleak a little bit. It was a weird look, but now the movies have come back to what I remember, like um, colorful and the white and all that. That's like reminiscent of late seventies and sixties sci-fi, two thousand one, which is our theme song. Our theme song. Played by what the Bethesda? The Portsmouth, uh, Portsmouth. This Portsmouth Symphonia Orchestra. Sweet. Out in England. Thank you guys very much. Well, you know, they. Uh, that's how we got to the potato. Remember? Because uh, we started talking about British food and bland. Oh, yeah, and yeah, bland and boiled and potatoes. See, oh, yeah, and the potato back, famine. Girl. It comes full circle. It does because the show's it's, it's over. It's got to be. Yeah. It's almost we, top of the hour. Yeah, we almost, it, it is almost the top of the hour. If you're listening, I'm going to start playing some music in a minute, and then uh, Mike is going to swing by, and um, Mike and I are going to have another a new show starting soon, hopefully. Um, it's, it's going to be a music show. We won't be posting it on YouTube, but uh, if you listen on the air, you'll be able to catch it. And uh, it's music. He's He knows the heavy metal and rock stuff. I know the pop and the history side, so together it should be good. Maybe have a artist of the week. I don't know. Uh, yes. Discuss music, play music, talk about music. Rock on. Rock on. So man. good show, Carl. Oh yes, I guess. <laughs> Jolly good show. Ha. Huh. Um. Huh. Yeah, Carl gets the last word. Yeah. We out. Have a good day. <laughs>